Let's talk about how to remove a bankruptcy from your credit report. Sturgis Credit Repair is a five-star rated online credit repair company. We help people just like you build or rebuild their credit scores. If you have no credit history, we offer products to help you build credit history so that you never have to depend on anyone co-signing for you. If you have bad credit, enroll into our service today and allow us to work on the negative items affecting your credit scores. We take no money up front, so start our service today for free. You'll get updated through your online account as well as receiving updates through your email. For those who are trying to buy a home, we're partnered with multiple real estate agents and loan officers who are ready to assist you with your goals. If you are a real estate agent, loan officer, or anyone depending on customers with good credit, create a free partner account with us today. You can manually send or receive clients through your online account as well as track their progress before they go to someone else. Visit our website to learn more about our services. So in this episode, we're going to talk about how to remove a bankruptcy from your credit report. Before we get started, a bankruptcy reports for 10 years that can really do some damage to your credit scores. And that is a long time for something negative to report to your credit reports. Um, so the three steps here with removing a bankruptcy from your credit report. The first thing is dispute the bankruptcy with the credit bureaus. It doesn't have to be something uh, fancy. It doesn't have to be something long, you just simply dispute it, meaning you disagree with that item on your credit report. The reason you wanna dispute that is, one, courts do not report information to the credit bureau. So you're probably wondering, well, if courts don't report this information, how is this information even reporting to my credit report? That is a answer for a different video. Um, we're gonna talk about that later. First of all, everything with the court is public record so uh, like i said that is for a different episode um, so yeah you want to dispute that information with the credit bureaus it's not going to delete the bankruptcy instantly this is just the first process of this entire three-step um, process here so dispute that with the credit bureaus uh, see how they're going to verify if you get lucky and the courts can't respond or the credit bureaus can give you a uh, exact answer of how they are verifying this information that you may get lucky on the first uh, step here and that bankruptcy gets removed. However, 99% of the time, nothing is gonna happen the very first step. That's all part of credit repair. Um, so you wanna dispute the information. Number two, once the credit bureaus have responded that they have verified the bankruptcy on your credit report, they're gonna say that they verified it through the court. Well, courts do not report to the credit bureau. So you wanna write a letter to the courthouse that you filed bankruptcy in and say, hey, uh, do you report uh, to the credit bureaus or have you reported any of my uh, bankruptcy filings to the credit bureaus or any of that information to the credit bureaus or third party companies? Uh, it's gonna take about a month or so, maybe two months for the court to respond to you with a custom letter just for your, uh, your uh, letter that you sent to them. And they're gonna say something in the lines of, no, we do not report to third party companies such as the credit bureaus, or we do not report to the third party companies such as Equifax, TransUnion, Experian, et cetera. So you wanna get that letter and then you wanna move to step three here. You want to send that letter to the credit bureaus, Equifax, Experian, TransUnion, everyone that's reporting that bankruptcy on your credit report, you want to send that letter from the court stating that they do not report to credit bureaus. Once you send that to the credit bureaus, you have caught the credit bureaus in a trap. So pretty much they have lied and said that they verified that bankruptcy through courts. And now you have proof from the court that the court never and did not report anything to the credit bureaus. And this should bring you to a deletion. And those are the three steps we use to get a bankruptcy off of a credit report. Now, however, this is just one method of getting a bankruptcy removed. Now, we usually have about a 50-50 chance of getting a bankruptcy removed by doing this uh, process here. 
However, some of our clients that have bankruptcies and we can't get it removed this first step, then we have about two to three different methods we can use to get a bankruptcy off of your credit report. So try this on your own. If you don't have time, that's what a service is for. Sign up for Sturgis Credit Repair. We would be more than happy to assist you with removing a bankruptcy from your credit. Or if you have tried this and you haven't had luck, still sign up and see if we can maybe help uh, complete the second method or the third method and see if we can get that bankruptcy removed. Again, this is something that can take a few months versus this thing and reporting for 10 years. So, um, you know, if it was me, I would much rather sacrifice a few months versus letting something affect me for 10 entire years. That's a very long time. So, uh, I hope this episode here helped anyone out there that has a bankruptcy reporting to their credit and kind of give them the idea of how the entire credit repair process work. It's all about proving something wrong or proving something um, isn't correct on a credit report. And you know, this works just about for every single process that we use. If this video helped you, be sure to like it, comment, share it, and subscribe to this channel for more helpful videos like this one. Thanks for watching.